Romans 3.23, if uh, you're here tonight and you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, these verses are for you. Because these verses are the first verses I heard before I got saved. At first I said, I thought, I'm okay, I'm good. But then when I heard this verse, it says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's really true. For all have sinned. So I, I'm sure all of you here agree that we're all sinners, that we are, have sinned. And the other verse is in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So the reason we're going to die is because we have sinned. That is very clear. And Mama Rose understood that. And she wants that to be communicated to all of us tonight. And then the last verse is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. I would like for us to stand. So you've been sitting for a while. And we're going to sing a hymn. Um, uh, hymn number is uh, five, nine, uh, 519. I want to grab a hymn. As Hannah and uh, Mary Ruth said that Mama Rose could have memorized all the songs in this hymn book. And one of the song that we're going to sing, she loved this hymn. Um, 519, it says, when we see Christ. Amen? That's, that's her desire. So let's sing all the stanzas of this hymn. Uh, 519, 519. When we see Christ.
everyone's presence. We would like to thank you for expressing your love uh, to Mama Rose, whom we fondly call. Um, her ICF family, this church family, whom uh, she considered, uh, those who were younger, her younger siblings, her children, her, her own grandchildren, uh, for all of you. Uh, her uh, friends from FAR and PASAR. Um, also from the daycare, and for, uh, the, I believe, uh, what is closest to her heart, which is uh, the foster grandparents, of which she volunteered as a grandparent. Uh, she loved those children, the special uh, children. Um, and uh, so every one of you here, we want to thank you uh, for those who prepared the program, the flowers. Um, the refreshments later, every single one of you who came, many of you came from far places uh, just to be here. We want to acknowledge and thank each one of you, um, especially those of you who took care of uh, our mother, uh, Yoli and uh, Pastor Sam, uh, the dear friends of Mama Rose. Uh, you did what we could not do because we were not there and here for, the, for her. Uh, even though we offered Mama Rose uh, to be with us when we were living in New Jersey, now we are in the Philippines, we also offered her, but she chose to be here. This is uh, where she chose to be, her church family, uh, her family, uh, where she volunteered, uh, where she worked. Uh, this is where she chose, and uh, now she is being uh, blessed with all your love. For her. Thank you so much. Um, I would just like to uh, uh, say that uh, what, what we heard from Pastor Sam, that like the Apostle Paul, who had absolute certainty of where he was going, that is, in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ, because he knew, the Apostle Paul knew the promises of the Lord Jesus Christ, for those to put their trust in Him, Mama Rose had the same, very same assurance of where she would go and where, where she is now, without a doubt, in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to read to you a prayer that she wrote with her own hands that we just happened to see last night, written in an album dedicated to her son, Bebs, who we heard... Uh, Fitz read uh, the greeting. Um, she, he is in the Philippines. But this was a prayer that she pleaded with her son to pray for. And I believe that uh, this is the prayer that she would want every single one of you um, to pray for who does not have that assurance that she had that she would be going to join her Savior and that where she is right now in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, let me read this to you. She wrote, Oh God, I know I am a sinner. I believe Jesus was my substitute when He died on the cross. I believe He shed blood, His death, His burial, and His resurrection were for me. I now receive Him as my Savior. I thank you for the forgiveness of my sins, the gift of salvation, and the everlasting life because of your merciful grace. In this prayer, we
can see the reasons why Mama Rose had the assurance that the Apostle Paul had. It is because she understood the basis of the salvation that she had and she believed in, which is the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. His blood, the shed blood that was the atonement, that was the covering, that was the substitute for the sins of the whole world. She understood the burial of the Lord Jesus Christ that she identified with while Jesus Christ was buried. She knew that her sins were buried with the Lord Jesus Christ forever. And she also knew and understood the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. That just as the Lord Jesus Christ resurrected, he, she too and all those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ will one day be resurrected with him. And receive the glorious body that the Lord Jesus Christ has now in heaven. So it doesn't really matter whether the body of Mama Rose is together or not. Because one day when she hears the trumpet call, the Lord Jesus Christ will put her body together. You know, we will be bringing the remains of Mama Rose with us to the Philippines and bury her there in our farm where we will memorialize her with a rose garden after her name. And you are all invited to come visit her anytime you are in the Philippines. But I wanted to read the prayer that she wanted her son, Bebs, to pray for. And I believe without a doubt that she would want every single person that she cared for who is here right now to pray. Why? Because she would want you to join her, to be with her. Ever lasting life with her in heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ. She wants every single one who does not have the assurance that she had and that the Apostle Paul had that you would have it as well. And so tonight you can honor Mama Rose by praying this prayer sincerely in your heart. Now you will honor her because this is her desire for you, but more than that, you will honor the Lord Jesus Christ who died for you. Who wants every single person to be saved. Who said that he is not willing that any should perish, but that all should have everlasting life. So if you right now do not have the assurance that the Apostle Paul had, that Mama Rose had, that if you die tonight... You will go to heaven for sure, without a doubt. You can have that. You can trust in what she trusted. You can trust on the death, and the burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, which saves us. If you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, if you believe that His death was a substitute for your death, everlasting death, and that his burial is signifying and that you are identifying that your sins have been buried forever with Christ. And that in Christ's resurrection, you too, who will trust in him, will one day be resurrected with a glorious body like the Lord Jesus Christ right now. And what Mama Rose will have when the resurrection comes. You can have that. You can honor Mama Rose and you can honor Christ who died for you. So I would like to give you this opportunity. I will read once more the prayer that Mama Rose wrote with her own hand. And I would invite you to please bow your heads and close your eyes. And if you would like to honor Mama Rose, this is the best way I know. If you would like to honor the Lord Jesus who died for you, this is the only way that you can be in heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ. So pray this prayer. I invite you.